Assalamualaikum, hello great student. Um, I hope you keep healthy and also stay safe for everyone. In this science lesson, we will learn about chemical energetics. Hmm, what is chemical energetics? Chemical energetics mean that some chemical reaction that need heat to involve in the process and become some product. That means that chemical energetic is chemical reaction that needs that needs heat to help the reaction and become some product. In chemical energetics, there are thermochemical enthalpy and delta enthalpy. What is that? Thermochemical process use heat and chemical reaction to release hydrogen from organic material such as fossil fuel and the biomass. Enthalpy is the sum of the internal energy and the product of the pressure and volume of a thermodynamic system. Enthalpy is an energy like property or state function. It has the dimension of the energy and its value is determined entirely by the temperature, pressure, and composition of the system and not by its history. In chemical reaction uh, has two types. First is exothermic reaction. Exothermic reaction are the reaction that release heat from the system into the environment. Release of heat to the environment will reduce the energy in the system. The enthalpy of the reaction product become less or less than the initial enthalpy. Thus, the enthalpy change in system is negative, like in this symbol. Delta H means delta enthalpy, and the delta enthalpy will be negative. Why it will become negative? Because H air or enthalpy of reactant is higher or bigger than the enthalpy of the product. So delta H it will become less than zero, which means negative. Example of exothermic reaction is carbon combust under present of oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and neutralization between an acid and alkali. Okay, if we look at this curve is exothermic reaction curve, energy of the reactant is higher than energy of the product. So first energy activation energy, it will become high and then decrease to energy of product. The second type of chemical energetic is endothermic reaction. Endothermic reaction are reaction that require or absorb heat energy from the environment. The absorption of heat will result in increased system energy. The enthalpy of the reaction become higher than the initial enthalpy so that the change in enthalpy of the system become positive. If we look at this, delta H with mean delta enthalpy is equal to positive. Why endothermic become positive? Because Hp or enthalpy of product is more higher than HR or enthalpy of the reactant. So, like that equation, delta H will become bigger, bigger from zero, which means that positive. Example of endothermic reaction is thermal decomposition and photosynthesis. If we look at endothermic graph in here, first energy reactant is less than the energy of product. Activation energy is have less energy from the energy is absorbed. That's why endothermic reaction curve is like this. Have you seen this before? Okay, in this video, we will know about the chemical energetic more further and the example of exothermic and endothermic reaction in daily life. Exothermic and endothermic. What the difference between exothermic and endothermic? 
Okay, first we have endothermic. Endothermic that which mean is gives out the heat energy to the environment. So like this like this fire is giving out heat to the environment and the environment become heat. If we go to the camping, we can burn something into some campfire. We can feel the warmth from the campfire. Next is endothermic. Endothermic is taking in the heat energy from the environment. So in this example, like this snowman, is taking heat energy and will become melting. Exothermic, it's take from exo, it means external, is given out the heat energy. And endothermic, it's from endo or internal, which means that give in the heat energy from the environment. Okay. Uh, as I said before, the exothermic reaction is giving out the heat energy from to the environment, like this campfire. Another example of exothermic reaction is neutralization reaction between acid and alkalis. Next is water and calcium oxide and respiration in our body. Okay, it's easy to detect exothermic reaction. All you need is thermometer. If you look at this, if temperature read in thermometer is hotter, that's reaction called exothermic reaction. Okay, another in physical phenomenon, we can say that from water into solid, it's, it's used the freezing passes. Freezing passes is also exothermic. Why? Because it needs to, it needs energy to make some bonds to become solid. That's why this phenomenon or freezing phenomenon, it's example of exothermic. Another example of exothermic is changing pass from gas into liquid. Gas need to produce some energy to become liquid. Both are physical phenomenon in here is example of exothermic reaction. Okay, if we look at exothermic uh, curve in here, first we have energy and energy activation or energy in reactant is higher higher and then decrease to become energy of product. That's why energy of the reaction is higher than energy of the product. Okay, as you remember endothermic reaction that I said before, endothermic reaction means that it's absorb the heat energy from the environment. Like this snowman, it will become melting. It's easy also to detect endothermic reaction. 
look at the thermometer the if road if we can read the temperature in the thermometer if colder it will become endothermic reaction another example of endothermic reaction is electrolysis sodium carbonate and ethanoid acid and photosynthesis in plant okay endothermic reaction in physical phenomenon it can happen when solid into liquid or melting like the snowman because it releases some energy and absorbs energy from the environment another example is like when you when physical change phenomenon when you boil some water and the water it'll, it will become evaporated it also endothermic if we look at endothermic curve first the reactant or uh, energy of the reactant is less than the energy of product so it start from the low energy into the high energy like this curve stated let's discuss related to the video and our topic first we have two problem in here first problem is what do you get best on the video what is that in the video we can get a type of chemical energetic reaction we, uh, which are is endothermic reaction and exothermic reaction endothermic reaction is chemical en energetic reaction that um, absorb heat energy from the environment while exothermic reaction is giving out heat energy to the environment problem problem two what is relationship within the video and the chemical em energetics it's um, obvi obviously stated that endothermic and exothermic reaction is a type of chemical energetic reaction example of chemical energetic in daily life first we have substance from oil the, pro the process known as refining is carried out an oil refining involves separating crude oil into various batches or fraction chemists use a technique called fractional distillation to separate it the different fraction each fraction is obtained by collecting hydrocarbon molecules which have a boiling point in a given range of temperature why it is called example of chemical energetic because as you can see here it's need a boiling point so if we can separate it substance from oil it's need some boil procedure which the heat involved in substance from oil process next is fossil fuels coal was produced by the action of pressure and heat on dead wood from ancient forests which once grew in swampland in many parts of the world under the prevailing weather condition of that time when dead trees fell into the swamp they were buried by the mood this prevented aerobic decay why fossil fuels is also stated the example of chemical energetic as you can see it's need pressure and heat that's why it's a chemical energetic reaction another example is hydrogen as fuel the combustion of hydrogen is highly exothermic it is only used as a rocket fuel an experimental vehicle and fuel cells many advantages for the hydrogen such as very energy rich no pollutant and nitrogen oxides not form which is can make acid rain but it all also disadvantages such as 
very expensive to produce and difficult to store. Why? Hydrogen fuel is example of chemical energetic. Yes, it is state using the combustion, which is the highly exothermic reaction in chemical energetics. Okay, that's all from the chemical energetic lesson. I hope you can understand about our topic here. Here the quiz link. Uh, good luck and thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.